Hello everybody, welcome to another junk journal with me video. Uh, these first pages I do in this video were actually filmed for the previous junk journal video, but they made uh, the video too long so I thought I'd just tack them onto the beginning here. So please forgive me if I forget what I did at any point and make a lot of ums because I can't really remember, it was a few weeks ago. But what I do remember is that I just kind of grabbed some bits and pieces that have been sitting on the edges of my desk for a long 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 time and just make something out of those um so there were these minte frames from a fussy cutting book which have been there since i used that particular book those planner stickers you can see have been there for i don't even know like it could be a year honestly i have no idea how long those have been sitting in my desk and then like a big piece of black uh, cardstock or something so I just kind of ended up doing this black and pink theme just thanks to yeah the the bits of rubbish that were kind of accumulating around the peripheries of my desk as it were so grabbing some black washi from my stash to kind of go with the black theme putting those around the edges of the pages um, I have a surprisingly little amount of washi that is like really, really black. I have a lot that's got a black pattern on, but a white or slightly see-through background, but not much that's truly black. So I was actually quite limited in what I could use. Um, I found another random bit of black uh, pattern paper just from my, you know, bin of scraps. And I thought I'd add that in, adding little pieces of washi here and there, like this thin washi just to cover up a slightly awkward gap. I'm also going to add the pink little piece of paper you can see here is actually just from like my memo notepad that I have on my desk for all sorts of uses. The other side of that, you just saw it there. I had used to like clean off an ink blending tool so it was kind of like a weird looking brown colour so I thought I would just use that um, and go around the edges of everything with Distress Oxide in Black Soot again to go with the whole black and pink theme and then I'm going to use those spaces like the frames and the pink memo note um, piece to add my journaling but I'm not going to do that for a little while yet. Here I'm adding just those little random planner stickers so from a planner sticker kit and I haven't used one of those kits in I don't even know how long, so as I said, I don't know how long that's been on my desk, but it's been a while, and I just thought I'd add those as just cute little things, areas of interest and stuff. And then just to finish off, I brought out some Tim Holtz washi, the, I think it's called the Chatter ones, I think. Um, oh, and a little bit more of that little sort of thin, stripy washi, but yeah, I just brought out some of that Chatter washi just to add a few words here and there and then um, I think that's going to be the last thing I do to this side I'm actually going to do the other page before I add the journaling they're going to be two like completely different pages but I'm still going to do all of my journaling across the two pages I find sometimes I can sort of compartmentalize in my journaling like I am doing I am documenting this thing I'm going to do this page and this theme and document this thing on this page and there's really no need to do that so yeah just two completely different pages but the journaling goes across both of them it's not related to what I'm I've done in the background well maybe slightly on the left side it is but anyway really not the point but that's what I'm doing Background of this one, as you can see, I am just collaging some scraps of paper from my little folder of random scraps. And then I thought I would add some paint because I often forget to add paint in my journal. This is Impasto paint from Prima in the colour Dusty Rose. Starting off being really careful around the edges and then just splashing it everywhere. And then I thought I'd also kind of use it to go around the edges of each individual collaged scrap as well kind of blend them in together so just kind of stippling around the edges there and then once that was dry I didn't want to do any actual journaling on that just but I wanted writing on there so I'm going for my old thing that I often do in my junk journal which is just to add a verse of poetry because it was on top of that impasto paint I thought it would be best to use my Posca paint pen the black one oh my goodness I find it really hard to write with those I don't know if it's because I'm just I'm not used to them or whatever but yeah I found it really hard to do it just it doesn't look like my handwriting it looks like it felt like someone else was writing it was a really strange experience but maybe I just need more practice with them or something like that and then I kind of thought that would take up the whole space but it didn't so I'm just filling up that empty gappy bit at the bottom with some washi and some of these really beautiful stickers if anyone recognises those stickers that I just used, please let me know where they are from. I picked them up at the swap table at Planacon Europe last year in Brussels, and so they could be from 
absolutely anywhere and I just love them and yeah, I have no idea where I can how or where I can replace them kind of thing. Anyways, um, I wanted to add a tag to add the journaling on. So the two bits I use there are both um, packaging from stickers, the tag shape and that sort of white pretty one with the botanical drawing on. Um, so I layered those together to mostly cover up like all the branding and stuff and then I also used some washi to cover up the branding and the names and stuff. Obviously I like the stuff that's on the packaging like the pretty drawings and stuff but I don't want the brand names and stuff like that no 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 thank you so I'm covering those up then just adding a little scrap here of paper of like fountain pen friendly paper to do my journaling on and then also adding little strips and bits of washi all around there I've just got such a thing for ripped up layers of washi like collage washi it's just something about it, it just really really appeals to me and also with that piece of paper, like the edges might start to curl up after a while, so I thought adding washi to the edges of them would help help it stay down and that. So yeah, I'm going to start journaling once this is all done, and as I said, I'm going to do it on both pages, starting with that little memo notepad on the top of the left page, doing a little bit in each frame. Oh here, sorry, I'm just um, using the Distress Oxide on a whole reinforcer sticker, just a cheap one. Um, from, you can get it from any stationery or office supplies place and yeah having that as a whole reinforcer on my tag and here I am starting the journaling I did have to swap pens a couple of times because the fountain pen didn't get on with the frame paper but it was fine on the memo paper and then obviously on the fountain pen friendly paper but yeah I had to swap around pens to do all my journaling but yeah it all just flows and I just kind of think it's kind of fun that it's all in different places on those, both of those frames and stuff then to attach my large tag, I'm just going to punch directly into that paper, add an eyelet to it just because it's pretty, and then tie my tag in just with some string to, to that little hole I put in the paper. At first I made the tie a little bit too small and you couldn't really flip around the tag to actually read what was on the back, um, so I just made it a little bit looser. So you can just kind of spin it round rather than having to flip it over and then read it upside down if you kind of get me there and then I think that's going to be it for those pages so next up I'm going to do some really really summary pages uh, probably the only summary ones I'll do this year because as we all know it wasn't a very eventful summer for many of us so I just pulled out two little pictures and I'm going to pull out some bits from Daphne's diary and um, some old summary collections like scrapbook collections that I bought years ago and never used um, first up, I'm going to decoupage this uh, watermelon napkin, and um, there's a slightly ridiculous story behind this napkin. I don't even know if it's an interesting story, but it made me laugh. So I have this napkin in my bag for a long, long time, um, and like it, like it was in my bag over lockdown and stuff, so obviously I wasn't using my handbag, so I forgot it was in there, and then... One of the first times I actually like left the house to do something, I took my cat to the vet. Um, nothing serious, just like his annual like jabs and checkups and stuff. And it was so hot in there. It was during that heat wave, and you can't go into like the the examining room because of you know, social social distancing, social distancing and all that. So I'm sat in the vet with my mask on, and I was so hot, like I was having an actual hot flush, like, and I needed to mop my forehead up quite frankly i'm sorry if that's gross the only thing i had in my bag was this watermelon napkin and i'm like i need that for decoupage because i knew that we had ordered a watermelon in our click and collect shopping order and i needed to document eating the watermelon with the watermelon napkin so basically the lady at the vet's receptionist watched a crazy person gently peel the backing off a napkin to then mop herself up with it, mop her sweaty brow, and then carefully place the coloured part of the napkin back in her bag. She must have thought, what on earth is that woman doing? But there we go. That's Some people will understand what I did there and why others will not. So there you go. That's the probably not that, interest or, <laughs> that interesting story behind that uh, watermelon napkin. Anyways, just added some other summary pieces to that page that enormous white washi which has the boats and stuff on I thought that was kind of vaguely summary and that bit from Daphne's diary I'm gonna play with some bits these are from a simple stories collection I've had them forever don't know the name of the collection 
four or five years we're talking I've had that and then the other bits I'm using are from the Crepe Paper Oasis collection probably haven't had it as long but also more than definitely more than two or two and a half something years so even though the pages are kind of flowing into each other I'm documenting two separate things on each page on this side here where I'm like layering up those little cards um, with the picture of my brother this is from June um, my little brother in case you are new to my channel you don't know he has severe learning disabilities so during lockdown he didn't really doesn't have the capacity to understand what's going on also didn't really understand why McDonald's wasn't open and that was a bit of an issue for someone who has many problems with eating as he does and it has a very limited diet I'm not going to get into it but basically that's a picture of him having his sprite from the first time we were able to go to McDonald's after it reopened and he was a very happy happy little Sam so picture of that so that's from June and then on this side I've pretty much already explained it. I just wanted to take a picture of a watermelon because I had a watermelon napkin. That's all there really is to it. I wrote on the back of that tag some stuff about like the summer not really anything happening because of you know what and having to appreciate the little things like a piece of watermelon. So that's kind of what was journaled there. And then that is from August, I'm going to say. Um, I decided on that left there with a picture of my brother it needed just a little bit of explanation so I used that simple stories little tag or journaling spot just to put the stuff on there. Uh, the oxide I've used to go around everything on this page with is uh, Abandoned Coral, it went really really nicely with that. On the right hand side there where I um, attached my tag I used that little very small little title sort of journaling spot with the watermelon on. I just put double sided tape on it and used it like you would with washi to put it over the twine and then that little circle piece I've only put adhesive on one half of it so the tag can also sort of tuck in there as well and then here I'm just finishing off with some stickers from a Mambi sticker book that would you know, watermelon sunshine all that sort of thing stamping the dates, couple more stickers, pages are done. Right, last two pages for this video. The one on the left, for some reason, my camera started off not filming, but you can see what I did. It's just a couple of scraps of paper and some washi tape. That's about it. Um, I was going to use this opportunity, quite frankly, to have a bit of a rant about something that's been getting on my whip lately in the junk journal community but I've decided I'm too tired today to get into it and I don't know I don't know if I want to think about it more before I have a rant on it I don't know but it's basically I've had hints towards this in the past in other videos but the the prevalence at the moment of gatekeeping in the junk journal community and people saying this is junk journaling and this isn't and things like well this is true junk journaling and this is real junk journaling and if you use brand new things in your junk journal or if you buy things for your junk journal then it's not junk journaling and shaming people about the way they journal and it's just oh my goodness I am getting so so annoyed about it like I just urgh. like where do these people who talk about like you're not allowed to use new things or buy things for your journal for it to be a real junk journal like where do they draw the line? Like, am I not allowed to use paints? Are they too new to use in my journal? Do I need to use secondhand glue for it to be? Do you know what I mean? Like, er, when does something be not new enough to use? I just, anyway, as I said, I'm not going to really get into it today, although I already have a little bit, but I'm sure you can guess my thoughts on the matter. Stop gatekeeping in the junk journal community. Yes. Anyway, let's talk about what I'm doing. So on this page, um, that little folder thing that had a little card inside that was sent to me um, in some happy mail a couple months ago now um, from the lovely Siobhan, um, who I don't know if I've mentioned on YouTube, but I have on Instagram. She has a new channel, which I will link if you are interested. But anyway, that um, was sent to me by her and it had a lovely little note in it. I've just decorated the pocket just a little bit. And then I've also, as well as her know, I got a journaling card and wrote my own journaling about it. I had to make it slightly smaller than it was to fit and I added like a little tab and stuff and I've just decorated it with a few little pieces here and there. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm kind of purposely covering up the journaling, it's not that it's particularly private or personal, it's just 
sometimes when you share journaling or journal pages, um, sometimes people will make the effort to either pause a video or zoom in and then comment on your journaling. And personally, I find that a little bit weird and uncomfortable that may someone would make that amount of effort to read my journaling. So yeah, as I said, it's not that private, but I just kind of want to prevent that happening. I know it's like a 0.005% of people, like pretty much no one watching this is going to do that. But do you know what I mean? It's just, it feels just weird. Anyway, that's, that's what I did there. That's why I did that. I don't know. I don't know why I'm going on about it either, but yeah, anyways pages are done. Um, and then for this last page, this is on some parchment paper and it's really, really simple. I bought myself this stamp set. Uh, it's called the Prima Dream Without Fear. And it's kind of not something I would usually go for, that kind of like celestial sort of spacey, astrological sort of moons and yeah, not really my thing, but something about it really spoke to me and I really, 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 really wanted it. So maybe it's just because it's got moths and butterflies in, maybe that's it. But I just thought instead of doing, because you know when people buy new paint sets or whatever, they do swatches in their journal. I thought, well, why not do that, but with a stamp set in my journal, like it's swatching the stamp set sort of thing. So I did that. I love the sepia ink on the parchment paper. I find it very Leonardo da Vinci kind of vibe. And then I just journaled about that. I put it on that um, thing that Max Factor for the stars and for you uh, printable, which is from one of my printables from my shop, uh, Vintage Ads. I just thought that worked kind of well for the stars and for you because there's stars and moons and you know what I mean. And then I'm going around the edges of things with Distress Oxide and Chip Sapphire because I just love a blue and brown mix. I just, it's a combo that just makes me happy. And then just some little uh, strips of a galaxy themed washi. That little card I wrote my journaling on, I have no idea where it came from. I just spotted it somewhere in my craft room, like on the side and went, yep, oh, that'll do. So yeah, just a really, really simple page for that last piece there and there we go I'm finished for these uh three double page spreads or whatever thank you so so much for watching um sorry about my mini rant if it annoyed you or anything um I'll uh try and stop myself from doing it in the future but as I said it's just really really annoying me at the moment but I'll stop being negative happy positive things links in the description box Thank you so much again, as I've already said, for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed chatting me down in the comments. I am going to go. Thank you so much again. Bye bye.